Grandma, what was TikTok like? This is Octomagic. Hello, everyone. My name is Blair. I just had to start. She was just so busy doing other shit. I, you know what? <laughs> I mean, somebody has to keep us on task here, and not for once it's going to be me. <laughs> All right. What a role reversal. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. All right. Do the fucking... Your name? What's your name? Your No, your name. Your name. Your name. Your name. <laughs> no, you need to say your name. God, they know by now. <sighs> it's Gwen. What up? That's Blair. How are your hot takes? How are my hot takes? Yeah. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> None of you can see this. I need a full body, like, revolution, right? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? You, like... For a solid five weeks or some shit. You oh, might... you're right. <laughs> you just find a little hot, hot taker. It's a TikTok hot taker, 6969420. I think I already made me. I said that one. But... I just, I just. Totally forgot that was a thing that I was doing. <laughs> I was just inquirably. Inquirably? Yeah. Inquirably asking the title that you go by. Jesus Christ. First of all, first of all, your voice is too much like my bellboy voice. Get a new yeah, voice. We have different voices. Get a new voice. Mine is much more chad like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mine's much more Vincent Price. Did you just compile of like a bunch of my weird tweets and put them together? I didn't need to compile them. Oh, that's just, <laughs> that's just a list of my tweets. Follow me on Twitter at, at Octomagic. There's some, there's some good... Let me read you some highlights. Yeah. Well, this the, is a highlight reel. The Octomagic account is run by Gwen, as, as you probably know by now. Octomagic, coming to you from inside the cum jar. Ugh. Ourovorus, with, <sighs> with a drooling face. Ugh. And with all claps, the cat's soundtrack is better than Hamilton's. Jesus Christ. That was a good, that was a good series of tweets. <laughs> it, was on, it was on fire that Those time. are all bad. They're so good. They'll generate traffic eventually. Did you see it? Like, the, the cats one got two retweets within, like, a second of really? me sending it. it was, huh. One was just, like, because they, they retweet things that people do with all clapping. They, they just have a bot for it or something. Huh. But An all clapping bot. That's interesting. Yeah. All right. Mr. Right. Is it? Right, I see. Wait, did I say my name? When did oh, I, when that's did... right. I mean, maybe I skipped over you. Yeah. Splendiferous. Yeah. Perhaps I've intimidated you with my gigantesque, gigantesque, giantesque. Oh, obviously. Yeah, giantesque vocabulary. What did you eat a fucking thesaurus? What? what is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. Oh, CEO. Wait, what? Corporate expansion official? Is that what CEO stands for? No, Chief Executive Officer. Corporate expansion of it was weird. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Wait, you're a detective. Yeah, why does he have a corporation? I don't know. Why is he like the super rich guy with all these awards? Who are you, Mr. White? He's got gemstones in his suit. So, I'm afraid, not used to conversing with the wordly challenge, he's just making up words, right? Like... I don't know, maybe? He, he's... He's trying to sound he's really just, smart. Yeah, he's mash... He's turning lots of words that are just, like, normal into adverbs, right? That's all he's oh, doing. He's, God. like, giant-esque, wordly, wordly. God. We... If we had editing in this, we would, like... We should... We would edit in the, um... The meme. The Jimmy Neutron meme. <laughs> the verbose one? <laughs> yeah, it's, like... it's it, No, it's, like, um... Pick up that pack of salt. Like, um, what? This, this sodium hydro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is okay, it, yeah, you're right. That is, this is, like, it's, no, dude, that's table salt. <laughs> you're an asshole, right? Fuck. Yeah. I, sodium I, chloride, I, I did is not, that the word? Yeah, yeah, I did not do it justice, but it's very funny. And yeah. if we had any budget, we would just cut it in here. I could just do it. No, you can't. I could. You could, but it would, I mean, we could both do it in, like, premiere, but that in defeats like the purpose. In, like, four seconds. You could do it in, <laughs> I cannot show you four seconds. Yeah? What a fruitcake. Is that? 
Hmm. What? Is that, a, is that a yikesy phrase from Phoenix? What, uh, fruitcake? Yeah, I don't know. No, fruitcake is like uh, just another word for crazy. Okay. Right? I don't think it has specifically, like, I don't think it's specifically queer coded. Okay. Because um, this guy's, like, specifically queer coded, kind of, right? But, I like, mean, so was the fr- first guy. The first guy? So was the first murderer, right? No. Pain? No, Pain was not the not murderer. Not Pain. Pain. Sai. Sai. He was not queer coded at all. This is the hot take of the episode. <laughs> that pain, that, that side is queer coded. He's like a skeezy criminal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about he was queer coded? I don't know. Nothing. You, you get a vibe. He was servile, right? What? What about gay is servile? I don't know, man. <laughs> like, there's a distinction between what is gay and like what is coded gay, right? Like, which no, is actually he's coded sleazy. It's actually a really interesting like discussion right of, like <laughs> this is the queer episode yeah no we're not calling it that uh, the the algorithms would not be happy oh you're right they wouldn't be happy um i don't know that the algorithms would be happy with like episode 10 or whatever <laughs> this is either of just random let's play that has zero viewers yeah you know um but no it's like it's like so like we 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 code things as like we all know what coding is, right? I mean, I do. I know you do. I I impose it to the audience. You can't respond. So, <laughs> it's a total question. So coding is when you um, like you take a character and you present them in such a way that is analogous to a real world group, right? Yeah. Or or is meant to evoke those. Characteristic, Char- like the characteristics assumed of that group. Yeah, right? it's, they're like l- less bad stereotypes, kind of. Kind right? of so related like, somehow. Yeah, so like think of, think so think about like um, Garnt, no Amethyst, right? Amethyst from Steven Universe. Why don't you use a show that like people who watch already know what coding is? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like Scar from The Lion King is queer coded. Well, everybody, that's that's the like. That's the go-to. Everyone yeah. says that. Yeah, like, no, I know. That's why I'm going to it. Yeah, Disney. <laughs> Disney. Because villains. people who 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 watch Steven Universe already fucking know what queer coding is, right? Unless they're like five. No, if I you're was five, say, you like, shouldn't be watching this. I was I'm, say, I'm sorry. She's but, coded as like a person of color. Okay, right? but, I mean, she's purple, but. <laughs> Jesus. Blair just gave Christ. me a, a, an absolutely <laughs> withering look. If my eyes could shoot daggers, Gwen would have been fucking murdered. Um, and then that would be the true crime case. I mean, she's coded as a person of color mostly by her voice, is she, is she not? I mean, and her design. Kind of. Alright. Um, anyways, the point is is that like a lot of Disney villains in the 90s uh, in, the, in the Renaissance era uh, were gay-coded, right? Yeah. There are like characteristics of them, like that that they have, that are seen as stereotypically gay, and thus is meant to be like this character is coded gay, and that could both be like a like a oh sneakily this character is gay, but we can't say it. Like that's how it that is partially how it was initially used, right? The Hayes Code, right back in old yeah, film times, like the made. Hayes code is. Yeah, because you couldn't have anything. You like couldn't that. have any gay people in movies. They let them be the, the villains, movie. though, right? Eventually, uh, right? maybe eventually. That's why they started doing villains as gay. Or maybe God. maybe it was just the perception. I don't know, but like the idea is that like you couldn't have gay characters that were just outright gay. Yeah, right. So that you was had not allowed. To, you had or to, poor to, children. Yeah, you had to code characters as gay. Yeah, right. You couldn't have the heroes be gay. That's not allowed. That too. Um, and then, and often the characters that were coded gay were non-heroic, or they were literally the villains, right? Um, but there's like an additional layer of like the things that we use to identify as what the coding is, right? Because like we, the coding is built upon specific assumptions of what a gay person looks like, or acts like, or talks like, right? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> My sweet mates are coming in. Yeah. Um, um, and like the the and like the complication there is like it's that's not universal, right? 
This has been Blair's lecture on why you shouldn't profile people. Why no, no, and so, uh, I'm not taking that's that. I'm not done yet. And so like because it's not universal, right? Not not all gay people are servile, right? Not all gay right, people yeah, like, are the, mincing. The, yeah, the, the typical are flamboyant. The right? typical thing is like like is gay men are like flamboyant and obsessed with appearance and stuff yeah. like that. That's like that's how they often they were coded. And see that that complicates depiction, right? Because you have to how do you like it is how do you subtextually convey that someone is gay, right? Without, like, how do you? Do yeah, without that? having them say, "I'm gay," because yeah. like people don't say that, right? Like, I mean, people they do. Well, I mean, honestly, we go to liberal arts college, we go so, to liberal arts college. so um, <laughs> they I do. Mean, but all right, hypothetically, <laughs> like, I mean, the obvious. I mean, answer, I don't. So I know the obvious answer, um, which I'm stealing from someone I forget who. Uh, is to, like, introduce them with their boyfriend slash husband. Yeah. Right? Or a girlfriend Et slash... Yeah. Um, but, but how do you do it with, like, a closeted trans person is the real question. Right. Like, how do you... How do you... It's interesting. So, like, there's, there's interesting layers of, like, our culture identifies certain things as being coded certain ways, and then, like... It's basically just stereotyping with extra steps. I don't know why we're fucking like. I don't know. I've been waiting for you to finish up so I could do more of this guy's. Uh, I'm sorry. Voice. I'm sorry. No, no. the reason we're okay. going. The audience into this. probably needed this. Audience, you needed this. If you already knew what this was, I'm sorry. I like. I'm gonna make Blair put time cones in. So you I'm not scared. gonna do that. <laughs> the reason. The reason why we were talking about this was because of saw it. Right? We oh, you're right. You're right. We were talking about saw it. Saw it. Uh, and saw it is like. Me, yeah, he's, he's not. He's not queer coded in any way, other than he's the villain and he pretends to be servile, right? Like, so he, so he's not traditionally masculine at all, right? Um, right. He's not. He's not presented as masculine. What are you, he's not shredded, but he's like he's balding and he like expresses his like anger like very like mm. explosively, right? That's traditionally masculine. That's fair. I mean, everybody explodes in this game. Okay, you know what? This uh, is, the, I don't the, know. The, the, conclu- the definitive answer is that Saad is non-binary coded. Let's move on. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay. I keep forgetting what his voice is. You are an attorney fresh out of law school. Are you not? Skewel. <laughs> Could you do, like, like a... Br- so this guy seems like he very much wants to present his very smart. Yeah. Can you do a fake British accent? No, that, absolutely that, not. That seems... Can you do a British accent, but, like, even if you're bad at it? Because if you're bad at it, that makes it even better. I don't know how to do any of these words in a British accent. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not even going to try. I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to... Embarrass wanna, yourself? Yeah, I don't want to embarrass myself that much. Okay. The ooh voice is enough for me. <laughs> That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. Sorry that I wasted 13 <laughs> minutes on my fucking... <laughs> what does he mean by that? This is the coded episode. No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with such a man, with a man such as myself? Yipes. Yikes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale, just like his dong. Yeah. God, look how he's posed. He's fucking, yeah. he looks like he's probably fucking ripped. Look at that triangle body shape. I mean, yeah, that like, <laughs> he's like, he's got like his broad shoulders and he's like all, hmm, I'd fuck him. Really? Like, once. Right, like I mean, I've met your boyfriend. He doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I I fuck my boyfriend like consistently over a long period of time. I have to meet him. Okay, for like once. Like, yeah, I'd, I'd have sex with this guy like once, uh, and he'd be like, "You," <laughs> and then he'd turn me down. He's going, like, Probably. <laughs> You're you are below my station. Let's be honest. He's probably homophobic. And Oof. queerphobic, Oof. and transphobic, and Oof. ambiphobic, and he's probably a true scum despite being transphobic. <laughs> I mean, true scum are transphobic. They're like transphobic to some trans people, though. Is, is that not the no. case? No. Yeah, they don't. They don't like. Oh, him, I'm but... sorry. True. I thought you meant turf. No, no, no. Yeah, confused. turfs are transphobic. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a turf, and he's a true scum. <laughs> <laughs> he's just collecting all of the. How can the you? Limbs. No, actually, that's an interesting question. How can you be both a true scum and a turf? You can't. Nobody is. True scum is just turf when you're in the community. Huh. Anyways. Um, uh, we, yeah, we're, we're going to we're gonna make some progress before we branch about true scum. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, if we talk about turfs and, and true scum, this really is the queer episode. Yeah. God damn it. 
Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. Okay. No. Okay. He, no. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He's just adding things on the end. <laughs> what a shock. It, it, what a shock it was to hear what she has done. That was a weird sentence. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She's paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. Wait, hold on. Can you do a Markiplier for us? I don't really know Markiplier's hands. So. No one does. <laughs> no one does. He's like one of the most popular YouTubers. No, he isn't. He's like, well, he's like up there, is he not? Yeah, no, he's he's kind of you know mid card. He's like he's not that popular. Markiplier has like a much deeper voice than I do, so I don't know that I'd be able to do it. I mean, honestly, like when you think about it, there are plenty of more popular people than Markiplier, right? Maybe do a PewDiePie voice. <laughs> uh, like th- think about he think kind about of like PewDiePie. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with like a joke here. Obviously, Markiplier is one of like the most popular less players in the world. I'm being, I'm making fun. Yeah. And being yeah. a dick. Oh, okay. So the usual. <laughs> but I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Ineffable is a real word. Yes, but it doesn't mean that. I had to look it up for my cat's uh, review. Really? What is ineffable? Uh, mean? I. Ineffable means too great to be expressed in words. Really? Yes. I thought it was like you couldn't touch it. No. I mean, sort of tangentially related. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I've already given my cats hot takes, have I not? The cats is, like, pretty good. On here? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember. Anyway. I know I, you like cats. Yeah, you know I like cats, obviously, but, like, I... Do they, though? I need to be noted for my for my love of the cats movie. I don't even like it that much. Like, it's fine, right? Like, that's my opinion on it. But it's like, fine, but, but like... But, like, the fact that I think it's fine makes me, like, the most diehard fan of the movie <laughs> compared to most people. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. All right. Ugh. I had too much soda, and now my belly is big. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. No, that's okay. We don't need to know that. <laughs> we, don't know, we don't need to know about my belly. Nope. Why not? We don't need belly dynamics. <laughs> belly dynamics. On the night of the murder... On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to, to mundane details such as time and place. <laughs> Why did we get rid of the Akadiva? <laughs> My motto is, don't worry, be happy. That's your motto? You're yeah, a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. You're a detective. You like work for them. Right. right? I mean, like are... without them, you cannot have a job. Is that not? How... Is he not a detective? Like that's what they said he was. Yeah, right? that's what I thought. Maybe, maybe he is not a detective, but he owns like a detective company okay maybe he's like yeah Yeah, he's white whale (laughs) white whale white whale doesn't do i like that every time they do a globe it's just green notice that yeah like that's another globe and it's just green is it it's also like the blue corp across a green ball is really awkward and also the blue lettuce (laughs) maybe he's colorblind That would be hilarious. I mean, well, look at what that, he's wearing. That explains his outfit. <laughs> he's, like, he's like hardcore colorblind. It's not like one color. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes. What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Let's I've see. seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? You have to do, like, the anime things when they do... I, didn't, I haven't decided what anime thing to do for him yet. I'll, when it comes up in court, I'll, I'll think of something. Right. It appears you don't fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh-huh, a lawyer. No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Oh. Worth nothing. Zilt, zip, nada. Just like that. S- sorry excuse for an attorney. Grody Burger. Uh, what? what? Grossberg. Ugh. Oh, oh did you get beat up? 
He, he punched me. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna cry. That's assault. We can get put this guy in jail for something at least. Well, Miss Lana, what would that do for you, eh? Charge me with assault. Oh, call me out. I mean, can we? Charge away. I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. <laughs> the police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say, I but I wonder, exposition. is that kind of control really possible? Oh no, is the moral of this, of this like, bit uh -huh. of the story... <laughs> is this about corruption? It, no, is the moral of this bit of the story going to be about, like, how the courts are just and good, and how, oh, like... Oh no. <laughs> how law will, like, weed out the bad. It's interesting, though, because in Japan, right, they don't convict people without a confession, right? When they arrest somebody, you're, like, you'll be going to jail. Right, it's not like they just arrest people and then they figure it out, right? Or like, maybe it's they like don't move forward with the case unless they're absolutely 110% certain that they'll convict you. Yeah. Something like that. I watched this video on it, which is interesting. They have a very different legal system. Yeah, yeah, I did hear that like, they don't put you to court until they like, like I knew that they had a really, really high conviction rate. Yes, like right? impossibly high if it, yeah. was, if it was normal. Right, so like, I do find it interesting that that's, that's like, systemic reasons for it outside of just like they're really tough on criminals yeah and right? there's also this or people who they think are criminals and i i think the idea is that like they nobody wants to admit that the system doesn't work right so that like they never almost never renege on like like they never they never change the ruling of a court case right as well because they can't they don't want to admit that they're wrong mm. right because that would undermine the the system, system. So, yeah huh so um, I, we'll see I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Ugh, I, I get it. You have a big dick. That's... <laughs> the compensation is the wrong word, which is hilarious. Well, he means, like, you you don't make enough money. No, you don't make oh, enough money. Oh, I get it. It's an actual pun. I get it. I thought he was just saying the wrong word again. No. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him. Why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live a, live life purely for personal profit. Make some alliteration there. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. The blue corp though. Would you be kind enough to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. He is becoming more British as I'm going on. Good. I have nothing more to say. Fine. I guess we're gonna go and talk to Grossberg. Yes. 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 I was having kind of a good time doing his, his voice. Who? White. White. Me? Yeah. I was having a good time doing White's voice. That's good. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. <laughs> Maybe I should clear my throat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how his voice was, right? Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh, you! What's wrong? You looked so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Is, is he worried about the corona? <laughs> hmm. I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's. I want to talk about the painting, Mr. White. Uh, so I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh, what is that? <laughs> well, out with it, my boy. Boy. You see, it's just, uh, that big painting, that photo of Mr. White, why wouldn't you defend Maya? Ooh, this might actually be a hard choice. These are all good questions. Let's ask about the big painting now. That one, I think, will lead us the, the most information. <sighs> Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said had no in you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. Hmm. So you've noticed. I suppose I could have guessed you would. It is a large painting. 
Mm, Mr. Grossberg. I know you <laughs> and Mr. Grossberg. That's funny. <laughs> I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C- connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Your lovers. I was gonna say that. <laughs> it oh, it's an option. option. I was looking at my phone. Right? I didn't see it was an actual option. <laughs> should we pick it? It's wrong, but should we pick it? <laughs> I mean, he's blackmailing you. Is the obvious right answer. But like, come on. Let's pick it. It's not something I can claim to understand. That's so funny. But you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? You can't claim... Just like me and Edgeworth. Yeah. That's how I know. What? My boy! You send that painting to him. As a sign. A sign of undying love. This is so good. My boy, please. You're letting your fancies run away with you. Yeah, because Phoenix is gay, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get these bizarre ideas? <laughs> you just... Every night, you you go to his place, look outside his window, see him change out of his his purple suit, pink, pink, pink suit, his ascot, his, <laughs> his, his the, the oversized gem was on his suit. No, I'm see the, you're you're missing the joke. I'm saying that like. Phoenix goes to Edgeworth. Oh, okay. Edgeworth has okay. A I get it. Yeah, I didn't have the joke. I, I I got that that was the joke, but I didn't. I thought you were still describing Mister Mister White. You're the worst. I am the worst. That's, that's, you ruined it. You ruined that's it. A, I'm a ruiner. That's, that's <laughs> typical. I I don't understand how you could. That's because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm a tr- I'm a homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Enough. I'll swallow my pride just as much as I swallowed his cum. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. They are lovers. Definitely nobody is watching this without knowing what queer coding, coding is at this point. <laughs> well, we did explain it. <laughs> well, <laughs> but they already knew. <laughs> Anybody that would point out with the number of like gay stuff we talk about <laughs> already knows. And then, no, no, we are not lovers. I am a pirate now. Arr. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna like. You can imagine his voice, right? I can just no, do it no, you have to do it. <laughs> oh no, you have to do it. Uh, if I can do the uwu Batman voice, you can. You can do this voice. You can lay off the 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 the, the jowlness if you want. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. I just told you to lay on the jowls. <laughs> the jowl isn't the problem. The problem is like I, is like in the back of my throat. Yeah, and it, like it vibrates and it's bad. <laughs> it vibrates. And it's bad. Blue Corp is the company that excels in finding people's weaknesses. I'm afraid. I've been paying them for fifteen years. Now. My only weakness is my fat ass. Fifteen years. All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. Oh, this is the Mia Fey case, or the, 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 ma- the mom of, the of Mia Fey's. I mean, obviously, right? As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Mia because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. <laughs> so that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. My boy. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> but arresting Red White will be not impossible. <laughs> Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. <laughs> he owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, bullies, and Christ. Trump. Uh, <laughs> Did you say and Trump? He says and politicians. Oh, okay. What? They are brown, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Also, we're all really into BDSM. <laughs> every politician, every powerful man is into BDSM. Really? Yeah. You think? That's my hot take. That's your hot take. Yeah. Oh, and they're all into being the bomb. I will <laughs> I will say doing the jowl is hurting my neck. Uh, because you keep flailing your face around. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> what you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. That's a lot to read. That's a lot. Let's do it next time. Oh, have we gotten it through enough? To... We've, it's oh. been like 30 minutes. Okay, cool. So, yeah. All right. See y'all nerds later. Don't forget to play the end card this time. Uh, fuck you. <laughs>